Merry Christmas, little saver people who are watching me and stuff. It's actually Christmas Day. I apologise that I haven't done my second part of Christmas before Christmas, so you can actually save money this year. But I'm hoping that you'll be able to save it next year. But I'm going to show you some things to do with Christmas dinner, which you can save. Number one is make Christmas pies and desserts. I made Christmas pies yesterday at my sister's, but um, I didn't video myself, I'm afraid. But I had leftover pastry, which I've made into little angels. So these are my little angels, made out of the leftover pastry. Yes, I got angels with boobies, because I didn't want to waste it. I don't want to throw my pastry. I didn't have any tray space, so that's number two. If you haven't guessed it already, this is Yorkshire pudding batter. Wahaha. Make your own Christmas puddings. Aunt Bessie's is a rip-off. And these are so much better. And they're very, very, very nice. You can't see it very well. But in there is Mother's master Christmas cake. Again, make your own Christmas cake. So much cheaper. Imagine buying that in a shop. That'd give you a good 20 quid, I swear. I remember that we can um, cook red cabbage. That's what I did in my introduction video, it was um, I didn't want to waste my red cabbage so I made one which is also cheaper and so we'll be eating red cabbage today as well. And another one to save you loads of money on um, Christmas time is to make your presents. So for example, obviously it depends on what you want to make. I'm very textile-y and so I like making lots of things such as I made my sister these cushion covers, proper zip and everything. Oh, let's do the white one the white zip and everything. These used to be, we got this from Ikea. These used to be cushion, not cushion, um, sofa covers, but they got too worn away. You can't see it very well. But then I turned it inside out and made them into cushions. And that cost me like one pound for like a stupid amount of material. And I made two cushion covers out of that. And the um, zips I got off things. And then this one, I made this for my sister. So, um, Bambi, Pocahontas, Disney Council and Alice. And I made this out of material that was left over from when I made a shirt. The white was a bed sheet and the black was a bed sheet. And um, it didn't take too long. And the, the cotton wool inside is I bought a cushion a while ago. And um, just for cotton wool. So I bought like a one pound cushion from a charity shop and just stuffed it. And um, I also made my sister bunting. Um, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year bunting um, yeah but you can do like there's so many different things that you can make you can I don't know make cakes you, but like um, well I can't think of anything like this in textiles because that's, that's what I do but um, yeah you can make them stuff so if you're good with wood stuff make them that if you're good into making jewellery maybe make them jewellery and um, obviously it takes a lot more time to do that rather than just going out in the shop but it's, it's lovely. I think it's so much nicer to give someone something that you've made. So I also crocheted a blanket for my niece, even though she's only like two months old. And my sister absolutely adored it. And um, it just made me feel really, really nice. Like I was actually giving them something that was really personal rather than just buying something for the sake of buying a present. So yeah, make presents saves you money and is more thoughtful. You can also make decorations as well. So um, a bit more of a snazzier version. I did these a couple of years ago. I made some little um, tree decorations for the Christmas pudding. They're fun, just made out of some felt that I bought, put some cotton wool inside and some leftover like string. A um, bit more simple, you can make chains. I used this, I think I used an old um, cracker box. So it had, obviously had the gold and the stuff. You can um, say you've got bits of paper that I've got nothing on one side. You can make snowflakes and put them up. You can, um, what was the other one I was thinking about? Pom-poms. You can make pom-poms out of some leftover wool. Do different colours with that. You can um, make yourself, like, oh, that's one thing that I haven't done personally, which I want to do, is um, to save getting loads of paper napkins. Actually make your own napkins. So um, just get, say, like, um, if you've got, like, a um, spare bed sheet, like a white bed sheet, cut that up into lots of um, squares. You probably want to um, sew them together so they're a bit thicker and just decorate them. And you can put them on your table so that they're 
not so you're not using paper which is very good for the environment but yeah decorations and they're so much fun especially if you have little ones and um or if you're bored or anything you can make candles um yeah anything make a cute little weird stick thing that looks like a tree out of sticks i don't know but um making things are so much fun and i think this time of the year it just makes you feel more festive if you're making things as well and it saves you so much money and um everybody wants money at christmas and one i've just thought of is electricity try and be careful with your electricity at christmas one thing that we've been doing is lighting a stupid amount of candles so that um like for example in the bathroom we've had like two candles so we've not even needed to actually turn the light on when we go to the toilet and um and obviously with christmas lights and stuff it can be a bit expensive so make sure you've got your um energy saving bulbs and when you're leaving the room turn off any like main lights or anything so you're not spending too much it, you will spend more money than usual at christmas because it's dark and yeah and it, you want pretty lights but yeah just try and be careful of that as well stuff from local shops. Look how lovely all of this is, an independent one. Buy stuff from independent shops. The clip that was just shown, um, you might have been able to hear that it was, I want you to start trying and buy things from like independent shops and not stuff online. Because, or well, I live in Bude. And um, there's so many independent shops. They're getting a bit more mainstream, which I don't really like. But like book shops and charity shops, of course. And it's like, yeah, clothes and furniture and tech, like electronic, everything. They've got their own personal shops. And I just think it's so much nicer to actually buy into them. Because you're helping a family, not just a big company that don't pay tax. So it's nice to do that and also by actually going out and buying presents it's so much nicer as well like yeah it's more convenient to do it online but one you most of the time you have to pay for posted and packaging if you don't all right uh, it has to travel it has to be packaged to even travel it's the cost of traveling as well and the environment it's like i try very little to buy things online admittedly there are things that are like really really cheap so i bought some um I had like a really big long strip of um, zip and I didn't actually have the zip of it and so I ordered them for like a pound online but they came in like a little parcel and I doubt I would have been able to find that or I probably could have found it but um you know try and buy things out and about and plus it actually gives inspiration so when I went to the charity shop I would see things that I never would have considered to buy for people and I'd buy them and it's lovely so yeah don't, independent shops are so much nicer because they're so more quirky as well and original and um, you can get things original again it's counter but um money obviously not so much but again you can like i went into a holland and barrett the other day and it was so expensive compared to my own like little health food shop that was literally across the road that just opened it was so much cheaper and i bought loads of stuff in there so gonna be a regular buyer so yeah Try and check that out as well. Don't just go online and sit on your bottom. So that's all my Christmas little tips done. I've probably got more. I'll upload it and realise I've forgotten stuff. But um, I'm not going to do a summary because they're all just little snippets of things that you can look into. But um, yeah, I hope that has helped and I hope you've all had a lovely Christmas and that these ideas will help you next year and also can help you just in, in general with like parties and stuff. Just trying to think about okay for this party what's going to be wasted what can I do to stop that stuff being wasted can I use an alternative route and um oh I did miss one um quite a big one for me is that you don't necessarily have to buy people presents you can if you want just buy them like experiences or give money on their behalf or ask them what they want take them out for a meal or like a coffee instead of buying them something they don't want or take them out for a yoga class or a surfing lesson or 
or anything really. So my sister didn't buy me a birthday present this year. And I said to her, okay, give, give £10 to a charity on my behalf. Because I don't actually want anything. Like, I have everything I need. Presents that I get given from people I love. And I'll continue to have them. But if, there, if, there's a, if they ask me, what do you want for Christmas? And they don't know what they want to give me. I'll just say, just either tell them something I actually would like. So um, I asked, or I hinted to my sister I wanted the last Hobbit film and I got it, which I was very happy about. And I got a cool and genie tea thing, which I recommend you look at. But um, if I didn't have an idea what I wanted, I'd say, don't get, like, I don't know, take me out for a meal or we'll, we'll go do this together. Like, you don't have to buy things. The whole point of Christmas I believe it's about generosity, spending time with people and just showing people that you love them. It's not about the presents. So, and plus I don't want to have mountains and mountains of stuff. So experiences. And yes, I hope you've had a nice experience this Christmas and I'll look forward to hearing from you all soon. Love you lots and lots and lots. Merry Christmas.